everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year. I hope you had an amazing New Year and an amazing Christmas. It has been a very turbulent time over on this channel. You know, last year was a bit turbulent. We didn't consistently post, but this year I've got loads and loads of content for you. Loads of fashion content, loads of Anna Godson content, family content, a bit of everything in between. So if you don't want to miss a video, please do hit that subscribe button, join the family, and make sure you are subscribed. Now, as you can see, I still have my Christmas tree up. I'm the girl that keeps my Christmas tree up two, three weeks into January. I love to drag out Christmas, and as long as I can keep my Christmas tree up, I will. And that is exactly what I've done. It kinda is relevant to the video today, because as you can see, there is snow on the Christmas tree and it is blitz outside. So today's video is, as you can probably tell by the title, is me sharing my coat collection. Now, I'm sharing the coat collection because I'm trying to give you guys some inspo as well as to what you can be wearing in this wintry, super cold season. It is absolutely blitz out there. So, with that rambling on, let's get into the coats that I've picked up over the Christmas season, over the new year, and that have been living in my wardrobe for a while. So. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you know me, then you know I'm the girl who loves a blazer. If you follow me over on Amma Godson Instagram, ding, then you would know I'm a blazer girl. If you don't, please do follow rather over on my Instagram and then also subscribe to the blog. There's loads of content over there as well. I'm the girl that would freeze in this weather to wear a blazer. And it's crazy. This blazer that I picked up from Zara, it was one of those blazers that I knew was kind of like a blazer, but more so like a coat. When it's cold outside, you want to layer up, but you still want to look super chic and super stylish. This is a great way to do it. So what I've done is I've picked up this blazer. It's from Zara. It's almost like a khaki green. It's got the lovely shoulder pads. It's got that tweed feel. You guys know I love a tweedy kind of jacket. It gives Chanel vibes. Very, very classic vibes. And you know this color will last in your wardrobe for a long, long time. I picked this up, but what I usually do is I would layer underneath what I'm wearing and put the blazer on top. So for example, if I'm gonna wear a roll neck, I will have two or three roll necks on, so I'm super warm, I'm super insulated, I can't feel anything, but I know that when I put the blazer on top, it just looks super clean on the outside, it looks super stylish. I might throw a little scarf on top, but you know you're super warm. Sometimes in this weather, you still wanna feel like, you know, fashion girl. You still want to look stylish, you still want to look effortless, and you don't always want to have to kind of wrap up with loads of scarves and loads of big coats. So this is a great way to do it. Wrap up underneath, so put on loads of layers, put on loads of jumpers underneath, and then put a blazer on top. Now I picked this up in extra small. I love the way I've styled it. This is just such a simple look to wear. If you want to do something a little bit more smart, casual, this is my casual look. This is my everyday going to the shopping center, going out to meet the girls, going out with my husband. Just chill, very easy, very comfortable, but still very stylish and smart as well. All of these jackets, all these coats are gonna be affordable. I haven't put any designs designer coats in here I don't believe if I do I would always link an alternative on the high street as well so you guys have alternatives for high end and high street okay moving on now if you know me or if you know this channel if you know much about what I'm about I'm the girl that stays away from a lot a lot a lot of color I don't really like to do too much color because I feel like sometimes color can be hard to style regularly it could be that girl who's always rocking that one blue jacket or that one red jacket or that one green jacket so I tend to stay away from color I tend to go towards like black browns, creams, greys, and then throw in little statement pieces because you wanna be able to use your wardrobe as something that you can alternate on a regular basis. You can wear something multiple times and it just works on loads of different rotations. So that's the plan that I usually have for my wardrobe. So it's a great thing for you to do as well. If that's what you wanna do, keep your colors very muted, very neutral, very classic. And then if you wanna start adding colors, just add pops of color. Now this is what I've done with this jacket. Now I love a blazer and an extension of a blazer is of course a tailored coat. Now this green tailored coat that I picked up from Zara comes in red too, is the baddest jacket ever. Now I've got this in a navy blue, I've got this in a black and I've got this in a camel, but I had to get the green 
The green is just, obviously it's the Bottega green. You guys know Bottega green has literally taken over despite Daniel Lee leaving. It is the Bottega green that is just killing it for me. And I absolutely love the way that it adds a pop of color to my wardrobe now. I've popped this on with a white shirt pair of jeans and a pair of boots but you can also pop it on with a similar outfit that I wore in the first look all black underneath roll neck leggings boots and you've got a nice pop of color if you want to make it a little bit more casual you can do a tracksuit with trainers a pop of color with the blade with the, with the jacket on top something that's a little bit more dressed down of course you're going to see all of these in the cutaways but they're all very much stylish looks with this one pop of color jacket now if you notice all the colors underneath are very muted they're greys, they're blacks, they're whites, they're creams, but then that pop of colour just adds a little bit of diversity to your wardrobe, makes you feel a little bit more dressed up, and it just kind of adds a little bit of um, um to your wardrobe sometimes. Not everyday monochrome, sometimes you sprinkle a little bit of colour into your wardrobe, and this is exactly the jacket for it now. Okay, next up, we are taking it back to something that's a little bit more demure, a little bit more ladylike, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more effortless and it is a woven wrap coat now this woven wrap coat is a neutral color I picked this up in H&M the styling on the website is incredible it makes me feel like it's very high-end vibes gives me designer vibes for a fraction of the price that's what we always want we want to make sure we're buying pieces that look amazing and give you high-end vibe if you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to do it now this is the baddest coat that I absolutely love. It just gives me very much elegant vibes. It has no buttons, no fastenings. You literally just have a nice little wrap detail around your waist and you are good to go. Bear in mind, this jacket is not super, super warm. It's not one of those jackets that make you feel like you are in a duvet or anything like that, like the other two do. The other two are a little bit more heavier fabric. They're a little bit more purposeful for this weather. However, this jacket, I feel like it's one of those jackets that you know you're gonna layer up under underneath anyway so you'll have some kind of knitwear underneath some kind of big jumper underneath or some kind of lounge set underneath that's quite insulated it's quite cozy and then you throw this on top gives you elegant vibes very comfortable very chic the color works across all seasons so you know you can move this into spring as well so of course it's a winter coat but then you can also wear it in the spring season as well which is coming up very very soon so I love this jacket I picked it up from H&M I picked it up at the back end of December so if it is still available of course I will link it down below but a jacket like this you can wear with so many different colors you can do all monochrome so all cream neutral vibes and then throw on some brown boots or you can do black and white or you can do all neutral and keep all of the look the same color totally up to you or you can do loads of color underneath and just throw that on top there's so many different ways that you can do it and as you can see I've styled it in the cutaways for you so you can see a way for you to style it but a jacket like this not only is it versatile because it works for two different seasons or maybe three different seasons because you can potentially wear this in autumn it's one of those jackets that if you style it right if you layer it right it works for winter and if you take off all the layers it works for spring we love a jacket like this very versatile very chic and works okay next up we're taking it to those duvet style jackets the jackets that make you feel like you're still in bed those are the jackets that I live in when I feel like I'm having this lounge day I feel like I want to look stylish but I just want to be warm I want to feel like I'm still in bed I've got loads to do and I just want to get things done this is the jacket that I go for I love the richness of this jacket this is a fur jacket that I picked up from H&M this jacket was a little bit pricier it was in the hundred pound range probably slightly more but it was one of those jackets that I know I have probably got a hundred and one different fur coats and when my mum sees them she says I used to wear these back in my day and I'm like mum why do you keep all of them so I don't have to spend hundreds and two hundreds and three hundreds on these jackets but anyway I saw this jacket and I said oh I love the fur on it it's obviously faux fur which is great and it still gives off a real fur vibe so it's quite luxurious looking it's got the nice kind Kind of contrast detail in there so it's got blacks in there and different shades of brown as well so it's not a monochrome color 
absolutely love it very very warm very insulating but very elegant as well the cut is very slim line and it's a nice long maxi length this can be paired with so many different ways you want to do a tracksuit underneath throw a fur coat on some trainers you've got a nice little clutch bag you're good to go some leather gloves it still works if you still want to do something that's a little bit more in between casual jeans a shirt a jumper with this on top with some boots a nice bag it works these kind of jackets are statement pieces so no matter what you wear underneath throwing a jacket like this on top of it just automatically elevates the look it just kind of gives it a new lease of life and it doesn't make you feel like you're literally blending in you will be the girl who stands out in the room so just be mindful of that if you don't want to be the girl who doesn't stand out in the room then this is not the coat for you but i love love fur coats i'm the girl who has hundreds of them and i will continue to have hundreds of them and i will pass them down to my children okay lastly is the puffer coat now i struggled with this coat for a while with styling and the reason why i struggled with it because i always felt like how do you make a coat like this still look very elevated built very elegant ladylike chic without feeling like you're too casual and i found the way and the way to do it is just to make everything else that you're wearing super chic on top of that add accessories so with a puffer coat i generally like to go for a puffer coat that has a belt so it kind of cinches you in at the waist it still gives you some shape and then if you throw some boots on and you throw in a nice little tote bag or some kind of clutch bag that makes it very ladylike it kind of makes the look a little bit more elevated as opposed to super casual now when it's just kind of like a big duvet it kind of drowns you well it doesn't make you feel super elevated and chic you can't see your shape and sometimes can feel super casual and it kind of just makes you feel a bit blah so that is the trick that i found that works really really well for me adding a belt adding something that cinches you in at the waist and then of course styling up with some boots or some kind of clutch bag or some really pretty leather bag a bag that works really really nicely for the look I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas on how to style up some coats, how to look a little bit more elevated and chic, how to make your wardrobe stretch for the new year, and of course, look very, very stylish whilst it's snowing or really, really cold outside at the moment. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do hit that subscribe button. We've got loads of videos coming. Join the Amber Godson family, and hopefully, I shall see you back here on my next video. Remember, it's a weekly video, and it might be a bonus extra video every single week so do hit that subscribe button and join the family thank you for watching guys take care bye